his kids have just gotten older and bigger. Yeah. So that's all thing. Yeah. I understand that. Give them a warm welcome, church. Let's stand up on our feet this morning in the presence of the Lord. Come on, let's stand up. Lift our hands to Him. Holy Ghost, we thank you for this opportunity that you've given to us to the shed blood of the Lamb. You said in Hebrews 10, 19, we're full of love, brethren, have a boldness to the holiest by the blood of Jesus. We celebrate what you did on the cross. We thank you, God, because of your shed blood. We now have free admission and access to the presence of God that saves, that heals, that delivers, that provides, that supplies, that sets every captive free. For you said in John 8 and 36, for whom the Son sets free is free indeed. You said in 2 Corinthians 3 and 17, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So Holy Ghost, my dearest beloved friend, I welcome you. I thank you for being in this place. You said where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I'll be in the midst of them, Matthew chapter 18 and verses 20. I thank you that your presence is present. Lord God, in this room today, Father, we thank you we'll not be attending another rerun of religion. No, lie from heaven because Jesus, you're alive. You're forever seated alive by the right hand of the Father, making intercession for us. Hebrews 7 in verse 25 declares that we thank you, Lord God, for that that you're going to do living and alive in this place today in our lives, Lord God, changing us. You said because you live, we shall live also. John 14 verse 17 in the mighty name of Jesus. God, you said the thief comes before to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But you said you've come that we might have life and have it more abundantly. John chapter 10 verses 10. Lord, thank you for life here in the earth. Thank you for life now. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us this life. But most importantly, you said in 1 John 2, 25, the promise of God, even eternal life. Thank you for everlasting life through faith in the Son of the living God who's risen from the dead, who shed his blood on the cross. Come on, lift your hands to him and thank you for everlasting life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you today for eternal life. Hallelujah for eternal life is provided no other place but in Jesus. Jesus Christ, hallelujah, his shed blood. Thank you today again for this opportunity to form your name on our clay lips and exalt that person, Jesus Christ, and to declare, thus saith the written word of God. God, to you be the glory for all that you've done. To you be all the glory for all you're doing. To you be all the glory for that that you will accomplish today as we yield our lives. You make us the blessing you pour out in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody say it. Thanks. You can go buy another door if you want to, but it won't fill up there. The 
foundations been messed up. Amen. Somebody shout out, there's a praise God's wanting in this room this morning. There, there, there's a high praise he's, he's waiting for this morning. And I praise for not just open doors, but short foundations and prisons. Come on, somebody. Spiritual prisons, mental prisons, uh, physical prisons, whatever they are in your life right here today. Give God that kind of praise. I want you to stand up on your feet. I want you to give them a foundation shaking praise. I want you to give them glory because it's worthy. Have a There is nothing 